I'm Megan from the Great Lakes Science Center. We are excited to bring you this early childhood experience made possible with funding from our friends and partners at PNC and their wonderful Grow Up Great program support. Today, you are gonna get a chance to be scientists. What's a scientist? They're just someone who is curious about something and does experiments to learn more. Today, we are going to be exploring bubbles and you are gonna to get to do some experiments yourself. Now, how many of you have ever seen or blown a bubble? Probably just about everyone. So you already know a lot about bubbles. Today, we're gonna to find out what is similar or the same about all bubbles together. Now, you may have noticed that all bubbles have the same shape. What shape is a bubble? Well, you may have said a circle, you may have said it's round, and those things are right. Today we are gonna learn a new word for the shape of a bubble, and that word is sphere. Can you say it with me? Sphere. So, I have a paper circle here. It is definitely a circle, but when I turn it, you notice that it's flat, right? The thing that makes something a sphere is that it is round on all sides. So this is round one way, but certainly not round the other way. But when I pick up my ball, no matter how I roll it or move it or turn it, it is round on every side. And that makes it a sphere. It's a special kind of shape that is round on every side. So let's see if we can learn some more about spheres together by sharing a book. Our book today is called Bye Bye Bubbles by Romina Pastorelli. It was a beautiful sunny day. Emma looked out the window and shouted, let's go outside. Her brother Sebastian said, yes, let's get a ball. Emma looked inside her toy chest. She found her beach ball. Oh no, what happened, she asked. Oh, you can see her beach ball is all deflated. It's not round. Sebastian grabbed the ball and said, your beach ball has no air. No air, said Emma. Don't worry, Emma, we can make it nice and round. We can put air inside. Watch me blow it up, Sebastian said. Emma smiled. Sebastian inflated the ball. Puff, puff, puff. The ball got rounder and rounder. All done, he said. Can we play now, asked Emma. Sebastian replied, let's take a balloon and some bubbles too, and they ran outside to play. Sebastian inflated the balloon for Emma. He blew and blew. The balloon got bigger and bigger and bigger. He pinched the end and handed it to Emma. Emma let go and what do you think happened? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Emma jumped up and down. Again, do it again. Nah, let's try something else with air. Want to blow some bubbles, said Sebastian. Sebastian and Emma dipped their bubble wands into the bubble solution and blew, blew, blew. As the wind carried the bubbles away, Emma looked up and waved. Bye-bye, bubbles. So if you were watching closely, you probably saw three different spheres in our story. First, there was the beach ball, then there was the balloon, and then there were the bubbles. But what made them spheres? Well, I'm sure you noticed they were round on every side, but they also had the same thing inside. What did Sebastian put inside the ball and the balloons and the bubbles? Right, air. Air pushes out in every direction, and that's what makes it a sphere or round on all sides. Well, now I would like to try and make some bubbles. So I know that I need four ingredients to make some bubbles. And I know that when I'm making cookies, 
the ingredients I use are butter, sugar, flour, and chocolate chips. Do you think I could use those same ingredients to make bubbles? No, of course not. But I do have the ingredients I need here. So the first ingredient that I need is water. So I'm gonna pour a little water into my beaker. The second ingredient that I need is soap. So I'm just gonna use some dish soap here, squirt it in. Now, I'm gonna use my stir stick to stir that together a little bit. So now I have some bubble solution, but still no bubbles. I have two ingredients, water and soap. But remember I said I needed four? Hmm, well, Emma and Sebastian had a bubble wand. I have a bubble wand too. So they dipped it in and pulled it out. Still no bubble. Do you remember what the last ingredient I need is? I have water, soap, a bubble wand, but what goes inside? Air. All right, now I'm gonna count down. You count with me, three, two, one, and let's see if I can make my first bubble. Three, two, one. Oh, let's try again. I did it, I made a bubble. Oh my gosh, that was pretty fun. Now it is your turn to do some experimenting. So you're gonna need a container and some water and some soap. Now, but you do not have to have a bubble wand. If you do, that's great, but you don't need a bubble wand to be able to make bubbles. Anything with a hole in it will work. So look around, be creative. What, what weird things can you find that have a hole in them? You might have a water bottle. I just cut off the bottom, I'm gonna dip it in. Oh, look at that, that made a pretty big jiggly bubble. You might find a little piece of pipe somewhere. That has a hole. Woo! You might even use something like a rubber band or a loop of string. Even that has a hole. Oh my goodness, that made a couple bubbles. So be creative, look around. Anything with a hole will work. After you have made your bubble solution, found a bunch of items with holes to use as your wand and created lots of bubbles, I'm gonna give you a special challenge. I was thinking as I look around my house, how many places I see bubbles. When I was cooking spaghetti the other night, there were bubbles boiling in the pan. When I poured myself a soda, Millions of tiny fizzy bubbles were inside my glass. And when your mother says, put some hand sanitizer on, I want you to take a look inside that container. There are bubbles floating in there. So look around and see how many unexpected places you can notice bubbles. Now I cannot wait to see the bubble solution that you make and the amazing things you find to use as bubble wands. Be sure as you're experimenting to take photos and videos and share them with us on our Facebook page or at hashtag StayCuriousCLE. When you're finished, make sure you clean up your workspace, put all your materials away and wash your hands very well. Thank you for experimenting with us and thank you again to PNC Grow Up Great for making this learning experience possible. You can continue to learn with us by checking out all our resources at greatscience.com and from PNC Grow Up Great Lesson Center. There will be a link below. Until next time, stay curious.